Hey Stampers, it's Gator again and this time I've been having a play with this beautiful set. It is just outstanding and this is going to be one I'm going to keep forever. I just think it's amazing. It's absolutely it's breathtaking and even with these sentiments you could add anything, any sentiment you want to this. I am loving this leaf, it is beautiful. I've not stamped with anything else yet, I've only used the leaf. And you're thinking, I've made a card. <laughs> yes, I have. I've also been using this gorgeous designer series paper. And yes, I've been cutting some fussy cutting. Um, this is called Bird Ballad. And the ink that it uh, coordinates with is Basic Black, Basic Grey, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, soft suede and whisper white look at it it's just amazing i've used uh, some of this gorgeous paper as well absolutely stunning and somebody's asked me how do i cut down my papers well i try if you can get six four by sixes which is big enough for any card unless you're doing seven by fives but then you've got a nice healthy board you could add card stuck underneath I cut these to three and seven eighths and I leave them at 12 because then I'll trim five and five eighths five and five eighths and then I've got a good little border as well so I can attach it on the inside of a card or I could uh, and the long strip that, I, that was left on the end after cutting three of them I cut in half again at five and five eighths and five and five eighths and again to go inside a card which is like this little strip here I'm using this side, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's best to show you my card, hadn't I? I've, and it's using it, come this stamp set comes with a set of these dies as a bundle, and I've used two of those. And I've already cut them out um, because of the, the noise that happens with my Gemini. And uh, this is the card I made. It's just at this, you'd think I'd stamped that myself and coloured it in with the blends, but no, it's cut out from this corner. And I've used the Magnolia Lane thread underneath, uh, over the top of this gorgeous scalloped lace trim. I've cut about five of the leaves out and I've coloured them in with my blends. This is the stamp, beautiful. And then the thank you because I love thank you cards. It's just this little one and it's been mounted nice and straight. And then, like I say, I used that strip for the inside, but there was also a left, a little image on the bottom corner. So I added that as well. Oh, look how beautiful and delightful that is on the inside. Can you imagine receiving that card, which is stunning anyway, and then opening it up and there's that beautiful inside as well. It's just so beautiful. And because he was on the edge of the paper, I tucked him right up, him, it could be a her, I don't know. But I tucked it right up close to this strip as well. Mr. Boyce, you're a lifesaver. You know when I want a cup of coffee, don't you? Yes. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, and it's just, at, and I've left some of the trim showing. This actually comes with this bundle, uh, of this suite, and it's called the Scalloped Edge. Uh, trim and it's in I think it's very vanilla yes it is absolutely gorgeous and it ties bows beautifully so this is the Magnolia Lane combo it comes with green old olive um, linen thread but I thought it looked absolutely beautiful together so that's what I've done there so I'm going to show you how I made it it's just divine so that's the stamp set absolutely gorgeous and I used to just stick them inside and now I'm just leaving them on the papers. They're so much easier to take off and put back on. And all it is, is the sheet that it came on. So I've attached the labels on the back as best I can. Just look at that image, it's just beautiful. And then when you come to put it away, you just pop it, pop it, pop it straight back on its paper and uh, 
it keeps your stamp set nice and clean, no sticky residue, perfect. And again, like I'm saying, they've got this stunning paper. And out of this corner piece here, I have managed to get the image for the, that card and I'm going to be using this image, we're going to be doing some fussy cutting. This was uh, on there, beautiful. And I've also managed to keep this little image that was here as well, which I've already fussy cut most of it out. But we're going to feather, fussy cut that one. We're going to stamp them gorgeous leaves. I've got, like I'm saying, my... What would you call them? <laughs> they're like diamond oblongs, aren't they? I don't know what they're called. Let me have a look. Stitch nesting dies. There we go. So I've got those two. And all I did was attach the birds on there. So, And I don't mind the overhang because that's why I'm keeping the leaves just absolutely beautiful. So by the time we cut that branch out, all these gorgeous bits and attach that onto there as if it's sitting on the bottom of the car, uh, the nesting die. You'll have flowers overhanging. You'll have these. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. And then this is where we're going to stamp the thank you. I have cut a few leaves out ready because you don't want to see me sit and cut lots of them out. But you will see me cut a couple more. And how I'll show you how I uh, stamped, coloured and cut those out. So I'll pop those to one side. Your card base is, let me just see if I've wrote everything down. No, I haven't. Just get this. This is a free as a bird. So you want your thick white eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Score the long side at four and one eighth. Fold and burnish. I've got petal pink, which is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And I've got my designer series paper, which I've cut to three and three quarters by five and a half, because I only want a small border all the way round, as you could see. Then I've got extra DSP to fussy cut. And a little strip, which is, I think it works out. It works out at three eighths of an inch. by five and seven eighths. Yes, because I want it the whole length of the card. And then a little bit extra then of the DSP for inside. And whisper white, enough then just to cut out your two nesting dies. And extra for the leaves. There we go. So there's my measurements. If you want to pause and go and get your stuff ready, we can make this together. Beautiful. So I've got a piece of extra there. I'm going to do the leaves now because I've just inked up my pad and it's nice and juicy. I'm just going to have a swig of my coffee. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. And I'm going to, I'm going to do another couple. Fingers crossed that I get the two out of this one little scrap of paper and I cut them as close as possible. I'm going to show you a little trick as well what you can do because I've cut them. I'll show you one that I've done but I haven't done it on these but I'm going to do it on this one now just to show you how easy it is to cut and fussy cut, to colour and fussy cut and not have to worry about the lines or white lines even if that. So there's the strip that you get left off at the top. That I'm going to put into the folder and that will go for another card for the inside. So, I've got light and dark old olive. And I'm not going to worry about if I'm going over the lines or not. In fact, you can just colour it like that. 
if you're fussy cutting. And then with the dark, I'm just going to add a few lines, just following those lines that are there. So simple. And then I'm going to just darken that stem slightly. Perfect. That's all I'm going to do on that one. I thought with it being the first card, I'd keep it keep it quite simple. There's nothing hard about fussy cutting. I'm getting quite used to it and I'm enjoying it. So I'm just sticking right close. And I'm going to just chop that off. And I go all the way into the corners. And by strategically plated cutting certain bits off at the right time go down into that corner and I get the chance to scoop round whoops not throw it away like and then just follow it up you've got no white bits now just follow it round And then go down into the corner, but then come from this side. Remove that piece and then you can easily get in there to scoot round there. Do the same again. Come all the way around. Go down into the corner as far as you need to go. And then what I do then, I just snip that little piece out and then I can start my cut line again just take that out of I want to get as close as possible to this leaf don't worry about that and then I just it's at a slight little angle and then I can just trim that bit perfect and look at that cut out beautifully yes I'm getting so used to these fussy cutting now I'm quite enjoying it at the tell you the truth so let's cut that at an angle ready for the end result just do another one quickly I know there's a little bit of white there on the end but I can soon knit that off. I mean some people like a white border, some people want to get, you know, have a little gap all the way around, that's entirely your pre uh, preference, this is mine. I love getting into the nooks and crannies on this. So I can get back in now. A little bit fiddly, but it's worth it. I am actually having a ball with this set. There we go, and then I can come back in. Just move those out of the way, that's it. Let's just get rid of that little piece. That's if you don't want any white borders, you can colour it like I just did. And there's those leaves. So I've got a whole bunch of them now. I can add some to the inside. I think I cut one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven in total now. I mean, I only used five on the other one. But one of them I've got a little... Where's it gone? There. It's got a tiny little nick off the end because it was the end of the paper. But don't worry, so I've got plenty of leaves. So I'm just going to finish off fussy cutting around that flower. 
but it doesn't really matter about taking away too much of this white on because it's going on a white background so literally you won't see it like on the inside of this one it just blends into the card as well it's just gorgeous so there's the inside little piece ready it's got a little beak missing but we'll see I might even cut another image out yet let's see so I'm going to trim this because I want to start with the branch and your scissors are your best friend here let them do all the moving you just move the paper the scissors just chomp down I don't mind a little bit of white showing on this one either. I think it just adds to the beauty of this stamp. This, this DSP is just to die for. And can you imagine making a lovely little album with this, these papers? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm saying you can leave a little bit of white on it doesn't matter but because we're going white on whisper white I'm going to try and remove as much of it as I can and do you know I cried well no I didn't cry but I cringed as I was cutting into that first piece but I thought then it's no point having a, p a packet of paper just to stare at it because it's beautiful. Make something more beautiful out of it, isn't it? I'm not going to go all the way into these little nooks and crannies. I'm going to do the shape. Just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Careful there, his little eyes sticking over the side. Oh, I'm loving this. But anyone would think you'd made this because they've made it look so realistic with the blends. They could literally have given us a plank sheet of paper with just the bird stamped on and we could have coloured them ourselves. I would have loved that. You know, just to fussy cut them all out here and then colour them myself. You know, a bit like the botanical butterflies where they gave us the butterfly sheets, you know, with the option to colour some of them in ourselves. One of those, maybe two of those sheets would have been beautiful just for us to add our own colour. I love small birds, they're so pretty. Oh, I'm loving this. It's just so gorgeous. I'm sure you all agree that it is beautiful paper. I think everyone who have, uh, when I was doing the video for the what when the order came you know my little stamping haul video everyone commented on this stunning paper just enjoy the process and it'll be done before you know it God, beautiful bit like the wonderful romance when the vellum come I sat and fussy cut a whole 12 by 12 sheet of that up it took me about half hour 40 minutes but it was stunning and the elements it added to your cards then I might cut the rest of the sheet up not now on video obviously I'll be there for ages but later on and then I've got all those images ready to be cut out 
I certainly wouldn't use a whole sheet of that as a piece of DSP for the front of a card. I'd use segments of it, so I think that's going to be my uh, afternoon delight after I finish my video. This, this is my third video today. <laughs> Hence why I'm wearing the same top. Um, because I've had just so much fun recording and having a blast with this gorgeous stamp set. So let's fetch the card in. Now we can do a little bit of assembly. Finish with those scissors. And they need my large ones because they don't the small ones don't cut ribbon for me, never have done. So I'm just gonna fold and burnish. And I love the back of this paper as well. Because that to me screams seaside any day of the week. Fish and chips going down the beach could even use some of those birds for the sail in a sail away um, stamp set or come sail with me stamp set I can't think what it's called and then have some of them birds in flight in the background so there's that card folded in half there's our do you know if you ever get little bits that stick up just run your bone folder over it smooths them back out because the stamping up trimmer sometimes can raise those edges and if that's the only bit we're going to see on the card, we need it to be lovely and neat. So there's that stunning DSP. Just enough there for a tiny little border all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to grab my glue. Just going to make sure it's not blocked. There we go. And you want to make sure you get it all the way. What's up with that now? There we go. Let's go glue on it now. All the way to the edges. There we go. And right up to the corners. Because this dries clear. It won't hurt your card. And it doesn't dry sticky, so I'm still getting people asking. It's art glitter glue. It ships from the USA all over the world. It's made in the USA and it's the best glue I've ever used. Beautiful. And smooth it out because you want that glue to have no air bubbles in there whatsoever. That's just beautiful. So that can now get attached to the card. Again, nice little border all the way round. I think even that paper on there is so beautiful on its own. Do you know with a ribbon wrapped around that now? What have I done? Have I done? Oh, quick, get it off, Gaina. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Oh, I haven't added my ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> Me and chops in. So, I'm just going to grab the scissors. Just gonna let that dry for a sec because I can always add more glue. Yeah, oh, that's dry. It goes off so quickly. Whew, right now I'm gonna determine. I should have done this before. Where this is gonna sit because of the leaves and the birds poking out over the top. That's gonna get glued onto there, and the leaves will then get gathered around. So I need to let me glue this down actually. So I'm just gonna glue the center parts. I know those bits are going to stick on my card. So let's just move that out of the way. I'm rushing ahead again, see? Making boob boobs. So I'm going to have that little branch and that right on the edge of there and that on the edge of there because that's the end. And I don't mind the other bits hanging over the edge. 
because we're going to add to it now. I don't mind that little bit hanging over. It's just because they were cut flat. They have now. And I can just go in and add little dots and glue other bits down just where I need them. So that's all glued down in place. Now we can take an arrangement of these gorgeous, I added some on the top, you know, like this. Uh, I'm going to add some, I'm going to add one here. So I'm just gluing what bit's going to touch the white. I'm not going to go over it, there we go. So we're adding now, and then I'm going to have some on the back. So I'm just going to do the glue at the front, because we want to see some of those leaves poking out the top. We've got a bit of wiggle space. So I want a little gathering of those leaves up here. And then when we place it on the card, oh, if anything else needs to be stuck down, stuck down then. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do a couple down the bottom. Yep, I am, I am, I am. I'm just liking this, adding bits to it. Let me get one more up there, behind there. That looks really pretty. As if they're coming off the back. I think we follow these flowers around. And another one more there, and then I think that's plenty. just realised something. We may have to make sure it's not too wide for the card. So I'm going to have to trim this one. I know it's the wrong way around but you know what I mean. So let's just grab our card. Just rest that on top for a minute. So we don't want it overhanging too far because of the envelope. So I'm going to take that leaf off there and straighten that up. That's not too bad, I don't want it too wide. And I'm going to have to remove that one there as well. But don't worry because you can always add them back on. So I think that's about right, that is not too bad because we've got a couple of uh, centimetres on our envelope. Just have a play and a, and a wiggle around. Oops, I'm just going to trim that down a little bit. Finger off in a minute. <laughs> just gonna pop that one just there in between those flowers. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to grab. I'm 
going to get some tape first for my ribbon. So again, check out where you're going to have the bits. They're going to go right up there. So I want my ribbon to be about there. And there's enough here to do the lace trim and the other one because I'm just going to have it touching. Love this. So, first of all, I'm not pressing because I just want to add, and I'm adding it just to the very bottom. Can't press on too hard because of the tape at the back. How pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. It's just gorgeous. And then this piece will get rested just on the top there without taking away too much from that beautiful satin ribbon. Make sure we're over. Now we can attach it to our card. I'm just going to add more glue just to make sure everything gets squashed down. That was a good save. I say if I were any longer, I would have pulled it and ripped it and it would have been ruined. So I got it off there quick enough. And no one will ever know that you took it off. <laughs> so let's attach this now back on. And do you know what I think I've done? Does it matter? Yeah, it's upside down, isn't it? No, the branches can hang down as well, can't they? Let's get this into place. Making sure it's level. That's better, that's got it. I'm just going to open this up, give it a rim inside. Does it matter that the branches look like they, just, they can go any way around, can't they? That is absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to add dimensionals and pop this off. Beautiful. Now we're going to get a bit of glue and just pop that into place. Perfect. Pop our lid on there. Oops, my battery's getting low, so let's get some, let's get some of these, where's those there? There, I've got some little half ones here, just going to add them to the leaves, when I'm not sticking it to my finger, and I'm going to remove the backings at the same time. I'm not adding it to all the leaves, just to some of them. Just maybe the odd one or two, just so it doesn't fall flat. to my finger. Let's get that one on there, little one. I think that should do it. There's one left here. I'll just stick that on there. for the larger ones. There 
there we go, six should be plenty to keep that on. Perfect. And then we can lift this. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. I know. And then just sit in the rim of that on the top of that ribbon. Making sure it's evenly spaced. Oops. Oh, I can see there now my little dimensionals coming over the... Pulling it off. Better. Oh, they're just so pretty. So, I need my glue again now. These are for the inside pieces. There's that gorgeous strip. Line this right along the edge. Beautiful, beautiful. And it is the tiniest little overhang, and I mean the tiniest. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop this little birdie there. So I'm going to add a bit more decoration because she's missing a little tiny bit of her beak. I'm going to push her up close to the border. Just adds a bit more to the card. I've got a spare leaf there. We could... I'm going to add that in there. Perfect. Oh, it's just so cute. I may have to trim a couple of those leaves off. And that's for another card. Uh, my thank you now. And then my bow. And oh, my coffee's going cold. Mm. And I think my battery's just about to die a death, so I'll swap my battery over and I'll come straight back. There we go, I'm back. I'm to apologise about that, but I've just trimmed those level now so that when they close, they close into the card. So let's get the sentiment popped on there now. Fingers crossed it saved the data because it said it didn't execute properly. So you watch, I'll have to do it all over again. <laughs> so I've got this lined up and I've popped the centre across those lines so I can add this to those lines as well and just perfect lovely and straight absolutely fabulous like I, yeah and I tell you what it pays to re-ink your ink pads because uh, mine was getting to the point where I was gouging at the stamp to try and get it to have a bit of ink on instead and all I needed to do was just add some re-inker so I'm going to grab a couple more dimensionals for my thank you. And then we're going to grab our ribbon and make a little bow again. This is just apps. I'm going to add a bit of a uh, dimensional on the back of there as well. So I'm going to have this just here. Absolutely gorgeous. Tiny bit of a dimensional now. Whoops, I keep putting my... There we go, we got a half one there. Because I don't want it to keep catching. Perfect, so I can just remove the back off that. There we go. 
Yes, I've trimmed them off a little bit. I'm going to grab one for there as well. Let's see what I can do. Take the back in off. It's fiddly, isn't it? There we go. It's worth it, though. Every bit. There, there. That's better. So now we're just going to add our bow. Ooh, this is the nice bit. It's all nice. So this is absolutely gorgeous ribbon. And I don't want to waste any, so I'm using my bow maker. Just making sure. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to pull this into the centre. It ties beautifully. I don't want to tie it too tight. Look at the tails are facing the right way. Just going to scoop that up there. And then this one. Make sure that hangs down the right side. May need a little fraction of that one. Oh, absolutely stunning. Look how pretty that is. And that's the only bit of waste I've got. Oh, start sweating. <laughs> no, it's just beautiful. I, I can see me buying a few of these throughout the next 12 months. That is just divine. And I did have it over by my sentiment there. And I think I want to do the same. So I'm going to get my tape. I only need a little touch of this. It stays on better for me, for ribbons, than a glue dot. That's, that's the best thing. Because right, what I do is put the tape on, and then when I take it off, I squeeze there so it doesn't... So it doesn't stick out below and above. So I'm just going to pop that right there on my card, and it's done. And some little gems now. Isn't that just beautiful ribbon? Just divine. Just, oh, it's an absolutely gorgeous card. Love it. So, I'm going to grab a couple of rhinestones. There's one come off already. So, I'm going to have one on my thank you. I'm going to have one here in the white patches. <laughs> and another one. Just about there. Now cards are getting. Look at the two. Oh, they're just absolutely stunning. I love that font. It's beautiful. So this is the one I made beforehand. There's a little bit of overhang, but you can trim them down. And that's the inside. Just stunning. And then this is the one extra foliage. And it's all from the same design as this paper. We just cut a different pattern out. There's that thank you. And there's that gorgeous little birdie inside as well. And an extra leaf. Oh, I adore it. So, which one do you reckon? I love them both. They're just absolute perfection for me. So, I hope you enjoy the process. I'm sorry it's a bit long-winded because I've only done a bit of fussy cutting. And look what I've just found on the bedroom floor. It was nowhere to be seen. And then all of a sudden I walked in the bedroom. There's a little sailboat. So this is going to go on one of those little, one of the cards that I'm going to use next on the sail away. If I use that one next. Oh, and I'm anticipating that stamp set so nicely. And then I'm just going to pop away the, the nesting dies that I used. I used the second one on, on this side. And then the smallest one on that side as well to give me that sentiment. And it just, it cuts the outside and also the outside of the paper as well in case you wanted to use the negatives, which is adorable. And I love it. And there is my card for today. I hope you like it. I hope you give it a thumbs up and a share. That'd be amazing. Um, and yeah, I've bought so much stuff and I've got another order coming, which you'll probably see before this. And... Uh, I make cards every single day in 3D projects, so if you don't want to miss out, please press subscribe 
and the little bell straight away and you get notified every time I upload a video. So come and see what I make tomorrow and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.